What's going on guys? Joe R here and we've got a great video for you today. We're going to be sending in some cards to get graded by PSA. We're talking about everything from base set first edition all the way through to Neo Destiny. We'll be grading some of the more valuable cards in the hobby, some of the rarest cards in the hobby. So stick with us, like, subscribe, and check out what we've got cooking under the hood. What's up guys? we got 25 cards to send in to get graded. Let's take a look at them and see what we could potentially get for our money's worth. We've got first up the pre-release Clefable card. And it's called the pre-release Clefable card because it's got a pre-release sign right there. You can see it there shimmering in the light. And this card is awesome because it is an early release card and is worth a decent chunk of change too. A lot of these cards that we're going to be sending in, they're worth a minimum of $50. This one itself is worth probably around $150. And it doesn't have a lot of edge wear on it whatsoever. So I'm really excited to see what it's going to get. One thing that I am worried about is that the more valuable a card is, the harder they grade it. So hopefully they're not going to grade these too hard. We've got a uh, birthday Pikachu here. I love this card, by the way. This is a super cool card. Look at it glisten there. And we're going to send that one in. We're hoping that we're going to get some really nice high grades. Grand Party Certification Trainer card. And this card is super rare because it's got that double star rarity. And a lot of collectors like that double star rarity because it's associated with trophy cards in the Japanese TCG. So we're going to send that one in to get graded. And a lot of these cards we're hoping to get 9s and 10s because anytime you get a 9 or 10 grade, it can seriously bump the price or the value of your collected card. This card here is the E3 Red Cheeks Pikachu. Sometimes called the Fat Pikachu too because it's a little chunky. You see that cute Pikachu card. And uh, this card was released at an E3 event and it came in a plastic packaging which I took off of it to submit to PSA for grading. We have the Not Awake Birthday Pikachu card released only in Japanese and this is even more valuable than the other one even though it's not a hollow. It is super valuable. That artwork is just so cute. You gotta love that. We have the second anniversary Japanese Birthday Pikachu and I'm really excited to get all of these graded because they are near mint or better. Unlimited base set Charizard. That is a cool card. And this one is in mint condition. So we're really hoping to get a nine or a 10 on it. This card as a 10, as a 10 today, so get out your Pokemon cards and take a look at them. Cause as a 10, this thing goes for $800. As a nine, $200. So check out your cards. We have a Blastoise unlimited. And the funny thing is I bought that Charizard in particular for 20 bucks a few years ago. So definitely worth keeping your eyes peeled for good deals. Nine Tails, and this is an error card. It's actually a double error card, which is why it's a little more valuable. And by more valuable, I mean it's a few hundred dollars. It's got no damage next to Fire Blast, and it's shadowless at the same time, meaning that border on the right there, you see no shadow for it. You can see on this card, the shadow is on the right-hand side. It gives a little bit of depth to the card. This is Shining Mewtwo from Neo Destiny. Those Shining cards are really valuable because you only get about one every 12 packs in the Neo Destiny booster boxes. And you see, they only choose the best Pokemon to make Shining cards out of, including Shining Steelix here. That's a really cool card. And again, you can already tell these cards are gonna get super high grades because there's no scratches on the front and the back sides are almost flawless. So I'm really hoping to get nines and tens on these. And these are automatically $100 cards if they could come back as nines. Shining Raichu, that is a cool card. Impractical to use in the actual game, but really cool. Rockets Mewtwo, the first card to feature three attacks on one card. Love this thing. And I said to myself, if I ever see one and it's not too bad a price, gotta have it. And this card is really nice condition, so I'm gonna send this one in. I'm hoping for a nine grade. We've got Dark Charizard, and if it's Got Charizard in the name, you almost have to, you almost have to get sent in to get graded because it's going to come back and it's going to bump the value because everybody loves Charizard. And to top it off, this bad boy is first edition, as a lot of these cards that I'm sending in are. We have first edition Blaine's Charizard. That's from the Gym Challenge set. We've got first edition Base Set Gyarados. And that is a really cool card. It is near mint condition, I would say. And it's 
first edition, so I'm really hoping it gets a PSA 7 because that's going to be a $200 card if it can come back. We've got Dark Charmeleon here, and this is a promo card. It's one of my favorite artworks, which is why I really wanted to send it in. You can see that gold stamp there in the bottom right-hand corner. That means it's a promo card, and I'm hoping that can get a 10 because it is mint. It's flawless. Here we have a Neo Revelations Ho-Ho card. You can see that shimmery color in the back, and I always thought this was such a cool card. Three attacks again, which was very uncommon for the um, Wizards of the Coast card era. And again, it's first edition. So really hoping that uh, PSA is kind to me and gives me some nice grades. Shining Charizard. I'm hoping to get a PSA 8 on this bad boy because it does have a little bit of whitening. You see it in the bottom right-hand corner a little bit and the bottom left-hand corner, but otherwise a very nice card. But again, it's Charizard. You gotta send in your Charizards because they're gonna come back and they're gonna be more valuable as long as the grade's not too bad. We have a... First edition Neo Destiny, or uh, Neo Genesis rather, Lugia card. And again, really nice condition. We have another error card here. This is a no symbol error card from the jungle set. And you can see, I can bring back the Lugia for a second here. You can see that this has a double star here in the bottom right hand corner where my thumb is. And that is the set symbol. This is supposed to have a little flower symbol for the jungle set, and it doesn't. So that makes it an error card and a little bit more valuable. We've got Venusaur. Always love the Venusaur artwork. Venusaur doesn't really receive enough love in the Pokemon card franchise, I think. Another Charizard, because you gotta send in your Charizards. You just gotta. And Blastoise. You gotta love Blastoise. I know there's a lot of big Blastoise fans out there. A lot of people chose Blastoise instead of the Charmander and the Bulbasaur. Personally, I would go for the Charmander. But, you know, Blastoise, you get a lot of love. He was also a very good card in the actual card game. Gotta love that rain dance maneuver he's got going on there. So, anyway, these are the 25 cards that we're sending in. It could take a while to come back. Again, a thanks to SM Pratt, who's putting out his grade carding service for me. And he's going to send these off to get graded. And I am super stoked to get these back. I cannot wait to see what they come back as. And I hope you can't wait either. Because you're going to be there with me when we get them graded and when we take a look at them again. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.